What's up, Game Boxians? Juice Daddy here. Five dollar game box. We're back in the cube, and it's just a few hours after I uploaded season three, episode one. We're kicking off episode two of our continuing quest. Oh shit, didn't see that person in the white. Of our continuing quest to build an awesome collection of video games and not die driving in Bozeman, Montana. All right, we are leaving the retro video game store. Let me pull out of here. And oh boy. <laughs> Woo! I knew we did good. I knew we did good. I didn't realize how good as stuff is sliding across my seat. Let me pull out of here, find a little parking spot, and go over the stuff. And we're not done with it yet. That's awesome. We're not done. So I sold to him a bunch of the con well, the console and many of the games. So some of the common titles, the 1080p snowboarding, the Star Wars Racer, I had six of those, so the best deal there is doing two for one, my two for his one, and I picked up uh, three Master System games, Alien Syndrome, Walter Payton Football, which kind of catches a slight premium, and Aztec Adventure. So we're adding those three games. I decided to keep Pokemon Snap because I don't own it. So since we did so good, as you're about to see on this deal, go ahead and throw that in the $5 game box. He didn't take our crappy copy of Madden. So we should have some fun. Take a hammer to it or something. I don't know. I still have GoldenEye and Mario Kart 64. Because he could not match what GameStop is currently giving for cash on these. GoldenEye, they're currently giving $18 cash. And Mario Kart 64, $24 cash. So we still have some cash to make. He didn't take either of my copies of Wii Sports from that $100 bundle from last episode. So that's a $480 each from GameStop. So for the N64... The Jungle Green, three controllers, and let's see, Super Mario 64, Donkey Kong 64, Diddy Kong Racing, um, what other titles were in there? Star Fox 64, you saw them last episode. Boom, that's $175 cash. $175 cash a day after spending $100 on the lot at a garage sale. And we still have 24 plus 18. Oh, God. What is that? 24, 34, $42 from there. And an additional 10 bucks from there. And we kept three N64 games. We're keeping that. We kept uh, San Francisco Rush and uh, Rampage World Tour. And we added three Master System titles. <laughs> Alright, just exiting GameStop. You sh uh, I showed it the receipt. GoldenEye 18, Mario Kart 64 24, and Wii Sports $4.80. Cash, same as credit, promotion going on. Until sometime like mid-May around the 11th, I had two dimes. I took out my loose chain pile. You know, does everybody have a loose change jar? So $47 in cash from GameStop. All right, 
I'm out here on a G Cell Saturday after all the selling we've done of the Nintendo 64 stuff and a wallet full of cash. I forgot how much. It's like 280 something. <laughs> we're we're rolling in dough. Now we need to roll in some video games. I broke my rule a second time in two episodes of just buying cheap games that I don't really need that I'll probably never ever play. But dang, I can't pass up 75 cent games. I got six PS3 games for five dollars, basically. Uh, it was five dollars. Uh, Born Conspiracy, SOCOM 4. I don't have that. Dragon's Dogma. I think I have this, but I'm not 100% sure. I may have the do the Dark Arisen version. Um, Dead Rising 2. I know I don't have this on PS3. Diablo 3. And um, it's a year off, unfortunately, but NCAA Football 13. Five bucks each. Grand Theft Auto trades in the GameStop for like seven sixty. Just Dance twenty eighteen trades in for nine dollars something. I may take the Just Dance at GameStop. I may try to sell GTA five on Macari for you know fifteen dollars or something make some money back on Macari since we spent $100 in our online funds last week. Not bad, $10 for both those. Got that second copy of Wii Sports from the big N64 bundle and that uh, Just Dance 2018 from the pawn shop that I got for $5. We are at GameStop. Boom! Cash. It was actually <laughs> my adding skills on the weekend aren't that hot. Uh, fourteen forty. So I got an extra forty cents. Ah, uh, maybe I'll throw the quarter in the wallet. It means we have a dollar's worth of quarters in the wallet. But I'm paying myself the fifteen cents. Damn it, that's going in my change jar. All right, this sold on Macari today. I listed it uh, three days ago. For $15 plus shipping, buyer paying shipping, I had a couple offers around uh, $12, but I held off, sold for the full price, $15, I'm getting it out today, I should earn $13.50 after Mercari takes their 10%, and that will hit in a couple days, so $13.50 go into our online funds here in a couple days, and of course we bought this for $5. And we bought another game, that Just Dance game, for $5. I earned $9.80 in cash from GameStop for that. $13.50 for this. Nice little flip. $10 turned into, you know, almost $24. Bucks. Not bad. All right. <laughs> it is Friday morning. About quarter till 8-ish. Before work, oh crap, at, uh, oh, please stop, that g cell right there. Let me get off this street, it is a tight fit. This person's flipping all around, okay. I am excited, this is the first for me. $20 spent at that garage sale. On my way to work. Thought I'd stop there, early bird a little bit. Got any video games? I had to ask. I had to ask. Do you have any old video games? Any old Nintendo Game Boy? Well, I've got this old Game Boy Micro. <laughs> oh yeah, look what's inside. Pokemon Leaf Green. With the charger. She plugged it in, it works. Screen has some scratches. Not bad, it's kind of a big one right there, but you know, still you could play. 
Also came with Narnia. She said she had Zelda. I think she thought that was Zelda. I don't know. $20 Game Boy Micro. Look at that. That's a Famicom edition, too. That's beautiful. I like it. Whew. I think I'm going to flip that Pokemon and add a Game Boy Micro to the collection. That's awesome. Always ask, Gameboxians. Always ask. Rainy Saturday, but I'm at a community sale, and at this sale, two dollars. Something to flip. New Super Mario Brothers 2 for 3DS. I don't know how much I can flip it for, but two dollars. Couldn't pass that up. Not a lot of garage sales. A lot of canceled ones, unfortunately, today. Ah, going against my gut. Garage sale back uh, somewhere. Dollar each. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Lord of the Ring Conquest Going against what I said I was going to do and not buy just any old game because it's a buck but I have to I have to learn my new technique of passing on that stuff <laughs> Sunday there's a garage sale right in there and I was actually here earlier and I asked about games they didn't have any but they said they I have some, but they'd take a look. I left my number. You know how that goes. Well, Costco run, as I'm putting the stuff in my car in Costco, they call. <laughs> so I come back. And now, mind you, the people at this garage sale, there's two teenage girls, one about to go to college, one looks about three to four years younger, and an elderly lady who I don't think is their mom. She looks like their grandma. So when I'm thinking PS2 titles, eight PS2 games at this house, all women, one grandma, two young teenage girls, I'm thinking Barbie games, horse racing games. What's the best I'm going to find on PS2? SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom? Uh, Kim Possible, what's the Switch? Well, sure enough, it's mostly racing games, sports games, or it was a Door of the Explorer game. And one game I spent two dollars on. I did not expect to find BMX Triple X at this house. What are they doing with this game? Holy crap, I can't believe it. And actually, I don't have it. I mean, it's not worth a whole lot, but it's a game I don't have in my collection, and certainly not one I expected to buy from a. 14 year old girl <laughs> strange garage sale days alright another Saturday this will be a long time between game box episodes garage sales right there amongst all those trees picked up an Xbox 360 bundle for $20 three games two wired controllers although they didn't look like they are in the best shape Maybe we'll see it. They're back there. Xbox 360S, 250 gig, $20. Uh, I didn't know if I should get it, but since I have a little money right now, I should be able to flip it. it may take some time, maybe 40 or 50 if everything works. That was the point. Maybe get 40 or $50 out of it. All right, moving on. Garage sale at that house right there. Not video game related, but for $10, I'm going to step out of my comfort zone. Got this Sony mini disc player. Stickers. Battery case is blown out, unfortunately. I saw some eBay comps, like over $100 for that. Then he had this one. Once again, I saw some eBay comps, close to $100 on that. And that's, the battery compartment's a little corroded. But I think I can clean it out. And a whole bunch of mini disc. Maybe if I list it on eBay as is, I may be able to get something. I don't know. But just stepping out of our comfort zone and see what happens. There's a little sale in this office thingy right here. And uh, I spent $4.50. I guess this is going to be the Taken Chances garage sale Saturday after I had the garage sale, the Friday morning garage sale with the Game Boy Micro, which was great. 
And then the picking up a couple junk games, garage sale. Now, third week in a row on this episode, I'm garage sale hunting. So here's the two bags of stuff. Nothing really game related, but I'm kind of hoping that we have stuff to flip. Um, this was 50 cents. That's for me. Oh, some Luigi plushie, brand new. Sure, why not? 50 cents. I picked up four of these for a quarter. I have no idea. I mean, they're sealed, brand new, HP, DLT, tape, data cartridge, 40. I mean, it's old school computer parts. Maybe, I don't, I don't know. I didn't do any eBay searching in there for this at least. I mean, hopefully if, if I got four of them, if they're worthless, then I wasted a dollar. Got this pack of Mega Man Rise of the Masters collectible card game. May try to flip it for, you know, bought it for 50 cents. May try to flip it for something online once again. Um, bought two of these um, Sylvana digital converter boxes for a dollar. I don't know why they have Sonic Unleashed on the TV for a digital converter box, but okay. I did do a quick search, and they seem to be going for around 50 bucks on Amazon. So I'm hoping to be able to flip those. And a couple of gaming-related things. I got, uh, for a quarter, this Insignia PlayStation PS4 controller charge cable. And, um, this brand new... Star Wars Xbox controller. It's for Xbox. For a dollar. So, I don't know. Maybe I just wasted four fifty, Or maybe we'll make some money. I figure, you know, I need to change up my garage sale game. Especially when it's kind of slow and I'm grinding. That, uh, you know, if I want to get these, you know, games like Gun Knack or Radiant Silver Gun and the $5 game box game goals. I may need to take some chances on some stuff and... See if a, you know, a quarter, you know, old, uh, whatever this thing is, will flip for something. We'll find out. All right, uh, searching for garage sales. Hopefully we'll get some games in the GameCube and not, you know, hopeful eBay flips. There's a sale back in there in this little apartment complex. $5. I spent too much. That's not it. It's empty, unfortunately, but it does have Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2, about an $11 game, so I got it for 5 and I got this case for Mario Hoops 3 on 3, in case I ever find that game or decide to like eBay it for a few bucks. You never know. Alright, there's a garage sale, little neighborhood, downtown neighborhood. I'm just kind of tooting around. It's getting late in the morning, and there's not a lot of garage sales today anyway. A couple popped up, no ads. This kind of a sign showed up, and I was driving around, and I stopped at those. Anyway, I was actually over here earlier, and I was over here about a quarter till 9, and he started at 9.30. So I thought before heading home, I'd check it out. And uh, I don't know if you can see. $15. There's a Nintendo 64 back there. It has an expansion pack. Um, two controllers. Uh, sticks are in nice shape. Unfortunately, for some reason, he cut the uh, AV cable. He cut one of the three because he needed it for his guitar amp. So I'm going to have to find some more, uh, another AV cable for it. And he had two games, good games. We have uh, Banjo-Tooie in nice shape. And we have, uh, oh, on the floor, it's Yoshi's Story. <laughs> Yoshi Story and Banjo Tooie, Nintendo 64, two good controllers, expansion pack, $15. And that is why, my friends, my subscribers, all of you, ask. Like, this garage sale didn't have anything electronic. Nothing. Not, not a TV, not anything. And I just asked. And he's like, no, wait, got an old Nintendo... Look at that. A dude that the most electronic thing he had was an acoustic ukulele. 
and now I'm walking out with a $15 N64 in really nice shape. All right, y'all. Here's what I got, like the non-gaming stuff with the G-Cells yesterday. Spent fourteen fifty total, and we're going to, just to try to make some money by reselling this so we can get some of those gold games that, of course, are on our big board on the refrigerator. So let's just kind of go over what we got. Paid a dollar each for these uh, Silvana converter boxes. Um, these seem to be go when they sell. When these converter boxes sell on eBay, they're going for forty to fifty bucks. But there's a lot up for sale and not a lot of sales. So I'm gonna kind of lowball everybody on there right now. It says it includes a remote. The remotes are there's no remote on either one of these. So it's got the instructions, converter box, and power cable in each box. I think I'm going to try to sell them for, I don't know, $25, 20 25 See what happens. These are going for about 5 or $6, so should be easy ch shipping. Put in an envelope with a stamp. Uh, these things I got for a quarter each. Uh, they're kind of all over the place. They are kind of selling, and there's not a lot for sale. So I think I can lot all four sealed and maybe get 12 to 15, maybe, on them. I think I'll keep Luigi here. Not quite sure what to do with this. I may keep it, but since I only got a quarter, it may be worth it trying to throw it on Macari or something and see if I get 10 bucks for a charging cable. I don't know. And the... Uh, Star Wars Xbox Wireless. These things are selling for about 30 to 35 bucks. I may try to put it up for, you know, once again, undercut people, 20 to 25, and see what happens. We may be able to make a little bit of money, which would be really cool. Oh, the mini disc players. I forgot all about them. Uh, the one that's busted with no battery door. It's a shame if it was working, it'd be great. This one is working, but I can't get sound. I would kind of wonder if it's a proprietary headphone, because just putting a headphone in that is not working. I don't know if it needs a headphone that has two connectors. I am not sure. But it's working. I loaded mini disc and they're playing and all that, so I don't know. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Who knows? How many mini discs we got? One, two, three, four... Four, so nine total because there's five in there or is there six in there five so we got some mini disc that may be the money just selling it even like as is four parts or whatever we may make some money on that so here's the experiment i don't know if i'll get anything sold while this episode is still in production but i will keep you abreast as stuff sells this was a pickup from my uh, job a customer said her son moved out, left a bunch of video games. She brought him by, said, look him over, just make me an offer. So I called her and she shot me a, a voicemail while I was working. And she's like, listen, I just want him gone. Just lowball me, just anything, I'll take it. Since she's a customer at work, I didn't want to lowball her, lowball her. But I offered her $20 on this uh, box of games, mostly Xbox, couple Wii, one Wii U, um, we'll go over it here at the, uh, at the end, but, uh, there's one game in here that's going to make up the $20 pretty easily. And there's uh, some of these Xbox 360 titles are going to pair very well with the Xbox 360 that we picked up this episode and that we need to sell. So I'll go over that. Probably won't do price charting values because there's nothing. There's only one game that's really, really worth something. And that's uh, going to be the one that gets our money back on the lot. So uh, let me get some uh, get set up here in my little area, and uh, we'll do the uh, pickup recap for episode two. All right, here we are, end of episode two, of season three of Five Dollar Game Box. Welcome, welcome back. Um, I thought this episode was gonna suck, but then I went through all this stuff and I uh, I forgot about that one pickup. I didn't forget about it, but. I forgot how awesome that one pickup is at the beginning of this episode. So everything else is really just gravy off of that one awesome find. So let's go ahead and just get right down to it. Um, I'll start with the cash we have left. 
I did spend a couple quarters on that uh, kind of random stuff that we showed earlier. So I got 50 cents in quarters, and I believe 180 left. 120, 40, 65, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 180 bucks because I spent the $20 today. So we're kind of getting down in cash, but as you'll see, we have some stuff to sell both online to hopefully get our online funds up and get one of those gold games like Gun Knack or Radiant Silver Gun. I think I'm leaning Gun Knack right now. I really want Gun Knack. Um, and we've got some stuff to sell locally as well. So um, let's just get to it. Uh, Pricecharting.com. I, I go by price charting when I'm telling you values. I'm not going to tell you the values of everything here like I used to or I do in a lot of videos because you need to know the Pricecharting.com value of Assassin's Creed 2. So if it's worth a little something, I'll say it. Otherwise, we're just going to go over what I got. But the Pricecharting.com values are accurate as of 1024 Mountain Daylight Time on... May 31st. Okay. So you saw this. I actually, I've been, it's been at my workplace pretty much all week um, from a customer there. Um, but she came in today and took the money. So now it's officially mine. Um, we got a bunch of games and I'll just go over them here uh, real quick. It's, it's not the, like I said, it's not the most greatest, you know, bundle in the world. But this is actually going to help us. We're going to put some games in the collection from this. We're going to sell some games to increase the online funds. And maybe... And, and, oh, I also put some games with the Xbox. Let's just get to it. Uh, the first thing we got... I mean, there is some PC stuff in there. No big deal. Um, there's this uh, StarCraft II Wings of Liberty uh, CD with <laughs> a code you probably just saw. Uh, oh, well... I mean, I'll try to redeem this, and if I do, great. I've got StarCraft 2 on my PC. If not, it goes right in the trash. Uh, these might go right in the trash. These uh, Command and Conquer whatevers. Uh, this one's intriguing to me, though, this uh, Heroes of the Storm starter pack, because it's still sealed. It has not been opened. Doesn't sound like there's much stuff keeping stuff. Um, I mean, they're not going for a lot. I checked eBay sold listings. Uh, 10-ish bucks, but that's $10 that, you know, is better served going towards Gun Knack than it is keeping a sealed uh, Heroes of the Storm, which I think is related to Warcraft, it's Blizzard. So I might try to sell that, and I might try to redeem StarCraft. See what happens there. Okay, so we'll just, uh, I'll just start pulling out games here. Um... Here's one that's going in the collection. I don't have it. It is Star Ocean, The Last Hope. Um, it's not complete. It does have all three discs, though, and they're in good condition. For the most part, these games are in really good condition. Um, not worth a whole lot, but I don't have it. One of those... Uh, I seem to have a lot of 360 titles, but I don't have the Square Enix, too. RPG. I'm surprised I don't have that in my collection yet. There it goes. Another game being added to my collection is this Avatar. I've never owned any of the Avatar games on Wii, PS3, Xbox 360. Uh, this has the game in it that is complete inside there. It also has whatever these, uh, let's see if I can get them out. Ah, uh, they're going way down. Ah, uh, fuck it. <laughs> it has these things in it. Those little, whatever they are eye tags. I, the, the one thing I remember about Avatar the game, just a quick story, is I remember when James Cameron went, to, oh I just ripped the box doing that, oh well. <laughs> um, James Cameron went, I think it was Microsoft's E3 press, might have been EA's, no it was Ubisoft's, it was Ubisoft's E3 press conference the year Avatar was released in theaters. And he spent, it seemed like an attorney, but it was more like 15 minutes going off about all the technology and stuff they're putting into making this one of the greatest movie video game tie-ins. It's going to blow your minds, and it's an average movie game, which means it's a below-average game. Oh. All right, now we got some stuff that, um, the 360 stuff, at least, is going to kind of seed 
when I put this Xbox 360 up for sale after I tested it, which I have not done yet. If it works, we've got some great games to throw in to hopefully get maybe a, a $50 price tag. There's a few Xbox 360s for sale locally through Craigslist and Facebook, so nobody's really buying them. So hopefully throwing some really great games in there with it um, will help. So Mass Effect 3, Halo Wars, uh, another copy of Assassin's Creed 2. Crisis 2, Fable 3, Army of 2. Uh, this is not complete, it's in some black case. Halo 4, Army of Two, the 40th day, Prototype 2, Prototype, uh, Warhammer Space Marine, which is actually a decent game. God, somebody's going to get a lot of good games with this Xbox, whoever buys it. And I think, yeah, that's it for the 360 game. So those are the ones I plan on putting in with the Xbox that we bought earlier this episode, which I'll show later here in the pickup recap. Focus. Hi. All right, some other titles in there that I don't really need in my collection. I don't need my collection at all, actually. Uh, but I don't know. They're going to be hard to kind of resell on their own. We have a uh, Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition, uh, complete in great shape. Great game, worth about eight nine bucks. I mean, I suppose things like this I can throw on Macari for like six bucks and try to get the buyer to pay shipping too so I can like earn five bucks for it. It's worth a shot. Here's some interesting uh, titles and I wasn't expecting to see in here. We have a couple of Xbox One games. Uh, Call of Duty Ghosts and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Once again, they're like seven, eight dollar games. Maybe throw them in a bundle of Macari for ten dollars, see what happens. I'm not quite sure what to do with this next one because I know I own it for my Xbox One and I put my Xbox One away. If you saw my Xbox One collection video, you saw that I put it away, but it's Dark Souls 3. However, I do not have the Day One edition, which is what this is. And I don't believe mine has the soundtrack and I don't believe mine has the download code for Dark Souls, which may already be redeemed, I'm not sure. But for giggles, and because it's a great game, it's Dark Souls, we'll keep it in the collection for right now. All right, here is a couple games we're going to add to the collection. First one, the Wii U title was in there, Splinter Cell Blacklist. I do not own this game. It is complete, so we'll put that in the collection. And now we have, uh, oh, I did write down the values of these. Hold on. Split Your Cell Backlist is worth $11.31, according to PriceTrading.com. This one, nice little find, the Castlevania Lord of Shadow Collection, which is a two-disker. There it is. I don't think it has both Lords of Shadows games. I think it has Lord of Shadow and that... Uh, that Mirror of Fate that appeared on 3DS and Vita. So according to price charting, this is worth $18.73. I don't have it. And the Reed Cooper, the one I said that we, there's one title that's going to make up the $20 that I paid for it, uh, Skyward Sword. And inside Skyward Sword was a disc-only Harry Potter and a Deathly Hallows Part 2, which, for some reason, is going for $9 disc only, according to price charting, around 9 bucks. I don't know if I can sell it for even 5 I might try. But anyway, there it is complete. There's a music CD on Zelda, and there is the game disc right there. Um, should be a relatively easy $20 flip on Makari, and we'll earn our money back and put it towards those gold games. All right, I've been uh, speaking about it. Here is the Xbox 360. He, for some reason, had an Apple sticker, which you can see the residue. You can see the outline of the Apple if you look really closely. So I do need to clean it up still, give it a wipe down with some stuff, 
I plugged it in and the disc tray opened because one of the three games it came with was missing, so I assumed it was in the system, and it was. Um, need to take some air to it and some Q-tips to get the dust out of the the uh, vents and whatnot, and hopefully test it. It is a 250 gigabyte S. It came with two wired controllers. My initial look at them, I thought they were official, but it doesn't look like they are. But they got the Xbox logo. Huh. I could not find anything about these. Oh, they are Afterglows. Okay, so we have two Afterglow wired controllers. Both of them are all taped up right here where they connect. So we'll see if those work. They're not in the best condition, but as far as selling this thing for $40, $50, if they work, then they will do just fine. Xbox 360S, 250 gigabyte, because it's worth $39.95 according to price charting. Like I said, <laughs> these things are getting kind of worthless as of right now. Three games it came with. We've got a Platinum Edition, uh, Assassin's Creed 2. We have the Skyrim Legendary Edition. And the only thing I'm going to be keeping out of here is this copy of Split Second, because I did not have it. I think I have it on PS3. But uh, it is complete. It's right there. Boom. So we're not adding great games yet, but we are adding a few games. So that's pretty cool. All right. Get the Xbox out of the way. Let me get this out of the way. Oh, this is interesting that what I bought from the gal at work... Inside the bag was this loot crate box. So, anyway, the story behind that, her son moved away. He kept those games. They're, they were in this bag. They are in her way. She's like, lowball me, whatever you want. I said, 20. <laughs> if you weren't a customer at my job and you told me to lowball you, I would really lowball you. <laughs> I even told her that, like, don't tempt me lowballing you. She's like, no, seriously, anything. I'm like, I'll give you 20. Okay. Uh, these games. This, uh, both of these buys were on days I was ST Ruglin and wanted to get something. I'm going against, I'm going to have to start fighting that urge to buy stuff just for the sake of buying stuff. Uh, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen for the Wii. Got it for a dollar. Uh, same sale. He, these are the only two games he brought out. Uh, Lord of the Rings Conquest. Ironically, this game is worth a little something. It's worth $13, according to PriceCharting.com. And I did not have it, so there it goes. Normally, I should pass up these PS3 games, but I got six for $5, and she had plenty of them on there. I probably could have got them all probably for the $5, but none of them were worth reselling, so I only got the ones that were yeah, not in my collection yet. That's the only reason I got them. Uh, we have NCAA Football 13. As you know, 14 is the one you want to be on the lookout for because it resells for... It resells good all year long, but especially during college football season right around that time, and especially the Xbox 360 version. The Xbox 360 version got up over $100 last fall. Uh, this one kind of creeps up behind it, more so the Xbox version than the PS3 version, however. But I'll keep an NCAA football game, and every time I find NCAA 14, I'll sell it. Uh, Diablo 3, Born Conspiracy, uh, Dragon, Dragon's Dogma, which uh, was re recently released on Switch, SOCOM 4, and Dead Rising 2. So there's some PS3 games. Not worth much, but we'll put them in there. <laughs> I told this story earlier in the video, uh, getting a call back and going to pick up BMX Triple X. And it's not worth much, $10.77. It's just, <laughs> it's really weird buying this game from a from a girl who probably was just entering high school like coming this coming fall. Like, why do you have this game? So I'm just going to hold up this poster that's inside BMX Triple X. Uh, maybe long enough for it to be the thumbnail of the video. Just 
La da 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 da. Look at me. I'm like a slut with my tongue out. Oh, I'm licking my shoulder. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. It is complete. <laughs> and it's like it, uh, the, the Xbox version is more valuable, and the GameCube is the more valuable of the three. The GameCube is like a $15 game. Okay. You saw earlier we took some stuff for, uh, to trade to the retro game shop to get money for that X or the uh, GameCube. GameCube in '64 we bought in Episode One, had some credit, and I turned it uh, into these three Master System games. Always good. Our first really super retro stuff this season. Uh, Walter Payton football, uh, surprisingly for some reason. Kind of valuable. 947 according to price charting, so it's more complete. Uh, alien, nope. Alien Syndrome. We should focus. There we go. Alien Syndrome's worth 956. And Aztec Adventure, which I think I bought off Macari not that long ago, complete, so I don't know why I've got that now. Worth 8 bucks. Uh, I want a better phone with a better camera. I swear to God. Yeah, okay, Master System titles. On the same day, I bought some of these struggle games. We got New Super Mario World 2, or New Super Mario Bros. Uh, 2. There it is, New Super Mario Bros. 2. Uh, worth $10.85. I think I get like seven sixty in credit from GameStop right now. I think I'll try to sell the game on Bakari. So we'll put it on a little Bakari pile up there. And uh, there's the uh, copy of Super Mario Advance 2 Super Mario World that was inside the Mario Hoops 3 on 3 DS case. Super Mario Advance 2 is worth 10.25 loose and um, I found uh, Mario Hoops 3 on 3 on sale loose on eBay uh, as low as like 7 up to 10. So it may be worth completing at some point. I don't know. All right, is that it for pretty much all the... Yeah, it is. So we got two really good pickups this episode. One of the last ones, which I thought was going to be the last one, but it turns out to be the second to last one, is this uh, little N64 bundle. And uh, it's not bad. We have this red controller with a really good thumbstick. This is the one I'm going to pair with the system when I try to sell it. And we have another Jungle Green. This is our fifth Jungle Green controller. Really good stick. This is better than those the sticks of the four that I got with the bundle last episode. I'm going to keep this one around. This one's good. Real good. And we have... The N64 with the hookups, but like I said, he cut off the white cable to use it for his guitar amp. He rewired it. He's so oh, I need. I think I've got some official, a, a few more AV cables. If not, I looked. I, getting one off eBay is pretty cheap. So like two dollars cheap. So I may do that. And what I already have done. Because we have the expansion pack in here, I've kind of realized or come to the realization that I, when I sell these N64s with the expansion pack still in them, just randomly, either back to the retro game store or to, uh, you know, just people, I'm kind of leaving gold in the system. Because jumper packs, official jumper packs on eBay are dirt cheap. And I actually just ordered one for $6.00. I'm going to put in here, and expansion packs on eBay are selling between 25 to 30 bucks. So, I'm getting my $25 for this expansion pack. I'm taking that $6 jumper pack, putting it in here, selling the system, I don't know, if maybe with that stupid crappy Madden game we got last episode, with the red controller, I'll give somebody a deal, like 30 bucks, and we'll make some money. We'll make some good money. 
So I'm going to try that instead of just like, oh, I got an expansion pack, ah, 40 bucks. Ah. I'm, I'm leaving money on the table the way I see it. That bundle, by the way, we got that for $15. Came with these two games. We have a Yoshi Story right here. And we have Banjo-Tooie. They're both in pretty nice shape. Yoshi Story has a, a sticker on the back. Uh, so N64 is worth $42.56. Of course, I'm going to have to get a new AV cable for it. The expansion pack, according to price charting, goes for $27.74. That's gold, as far as I'm concerned. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of giving that away. I'm going to start selling that separately. Uh, if, 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 if jumper packs are that inexpensive off eBay, I may just order like four or five to have on hand. Uh, Jungle Green Controller goes for $23.99. Banjo Tooie, $25.24. And Yoshi Story, $20.24. All right. The pickup. $20. Open the episode. Narnia on Game Boy Advance. Here it is. It is the 20th anniversary Game Boy Micro. I'm holding it upside down. No, I'm not. I was... Inside, we had a copy. And I think the battery is good because the saves are still holding on it. Pokemon Leaf Green. Which, according to price charting by itself, is going for $27.69. I'm not a Pokemon fan. When I get Pokemon, especially ones that are worth $27, they go in the sell pile, not the keep pile. We'll put that up there. This, however, I'm keeping. It's my first Game Boy Micro. And if you go to price charting and you go to Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance section and you sort price high to low, the 20th anniversary edition, the, the Famicom edition of the Game Boy Micro is the third from the top. <laughs> it's right behind another Game Boy Advance like special edition and Drill Dozier not for resale edition. This, according to price charting, loose is valued at $170. And I've got the USB charger for it. I've got this USB adapter that's not official but she just threw it in. She said, take it. It's just sitting by my desk. Just sitting there doing nothing. Uh, the screen, I don't know if you can tell, has some scratches. It's not perfect. But when I turned on Pokemon and played it and it worked, it worked flawlessly. It, the screen was bright. Oh, it's just amazing that I went to this garage sale Friday morning. You got any old video games? I've got an old Game Boy with Zelda. And she walks out with a Game Boy Micro and a Pokemon game. So almost $200 in value. This, um, I, I don't know, maybe I need a second Mario to hold it up. Get get rid of the wallet, Mario. You hold, oh. Yes, oh. <laughs> we'll, we'll work on that one. <laughs> So that is one of the better pickups, one of the better finds we've had in $5 game box history, uh, especially value to money spent. That's awesome. And it is not for sale at right now. It is part of the collection for sure. Uh, yeah, so overall not bad. We're definitely going to make some money on the Nintendo 64 to put back in the wallet. We're hoping to make some money on the uh, Xbox 360 to put back in the wallet. We're hoping some of that for the fourteen dollars fifty cents we spent on um, mini disc players and controllers and random junk, it eventually sells on eBay to go into the online funds, along with Zelda, Pokemon, Mario, and uh, maybe some of these PC titles. All right, and of course, I'll keep you updated right here on the five dollar game box as to what's selling, what's sold, where our funds are at, because you know I'm not. I don't need most of the games I find at, at garage sales anymore. You know, I get a huge lot of NES games. Chances are I don't need all but maybe two or three of them. So we got to get the sales. We got to get the, because I'm probably not finding Gun Knack or Radiant Silver Gun at a garage sale tomorrow. Maybe. But probably not. 
So we need to flip, we need to work, we need to do stuff, we need to hustle so that we get the funds and we get those good games coming in. That's that's where we're at with garage selling in 2019. I don't need Banjo-Tooie. I've got Banjo-Tooie. I don't need Yoshi's Story. I don't need an N64. I need the money to get the, the more rare, harder to find stuff. All right? So that's it for me. I'm going to stop rambling in this 25 minutes plus however long the rest of the video is. Uh, take care. I'll see you soon. Uh, like and subscribe if you wish. Follow me on the Instagram, JuiceDaddy5. Follow me on Macari, Juice Daddy. And if you are a subscriber, message me through the app. If there's something in the store you like, I'll hook you up with a discount or something. I've already done it once. I, I did it for a guy uh, two weeks ago. Gave him a great deal on a, on, a, on a PS1 game that he was interested in. Won't mention his name, but it's true. If you're a subscriber and you message me through that Macari app, say, Justin, I want to get that. I'll hook you up. I'll, I'll figure out a way. So I'll see you soon. Hope you enjoyed the episode. A uh, big garage sale day tomorrow, so hopefully these uh, $5 game box start a little bit quicker. All right. Take care. See you soon.